Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. This one is the bouncer of last video. The answer to this question we will see in this video. The price of sugar was increased by 20 percent. Hence, a housewife has to reduce her budget by what percent so that her expenditure remains same. This is very similar to if the length is increased by 20 percent, breadth should be decreased by what percent so that area remains same. Okay, Area remains same. In that case, we did area is equal to length into breadth. But here, expenditure is equal to price into consumption. The price into consumption will lead to expenditure. See, for example, the price was 100 let us say. Now, it is increased by 20 percent means it becomes 120. In what ratio they are changing? 5 is to 6. 20 into 5, 20 into 6. If the price changes from 5 is to 6, then the consumption has to change from 6 is to 5. Then only 5 into 6, 6 into 5. The expenditure remains here, same. Okay. The consumption is changing from 6 parts to 5 parts means there is a decrease of 1. 1 decreased from where? 6. Always if there is a fraction, when you multiply with 100, it will give you the percentage. So, 100 by 6 is 16, 2 by 3 percent, which is approximately 16.666 percent. Okay. Option D is the answer. And guys, this is today's question. The question says, rupees 170 is to be distributed among 55 people. Look here, the total money is 170. This is to be distributed among 55 people. The ratio of total amount of money received by men and women is in the ratio 9 is to 8. And each man and woman, they received the money in the ratio 3 is to 4. Find the number of men. This is the question. Okay. Look here. The total amount is equal to rupees 170. Number of people total is equal to 55. Okay. And the money received, total money received by all the men and all the women. When I divided the money 170 rupees among all the men and women, the men received totally 9 parts and the women received 8 parts. Okay. Similarly, each men and women are receiving in the ratio 3 is to 4. When I compare the money received by each man with each woman's money, that is in the ratio 3 is to 4. Okay. Now, look here. I will take an example. For example, let us say rupees 100 is being distributed. Rupees 100 is being distributed and each person is getting 20 rupees. Okay. Each man is getting 20 rupees. 100 rupees distributed. Each person is getting 20 rupees means what is the number of people? Yeah, there are 5 men are there. Okay, five men are there. Total money divided by each money is the number of people. Similarly, look here. Let us consider total money received by all the men is 9 rupees, 9 parts. If each person is receiving 3 rupees, 9 rupees is the total money and each person is receiving 3 rupees means totally how many people must be there? 3 people. Okay. So, the number of people that is men is 3 parts. Similarly, all the women are getting 8 rupees. If each woman is getting 4, each money received by woman is 4 rupee. All the women have received 8 rupee. Each woman have received 4 rupee means how many women are there? 2 women are there. So, the number of men and women are in the ratio what? 3 is to 2. They are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now, if I divide the total people, 55 people in the ratio 3 is to 2, which is 5 parts. 3 parts are men, 2 parts are women. That is why I am dividing it into 5 parts. So, 1 part is 11. If 1 part is 11, 3 parts are 33, 2 parts are 22. So, how many men are there? 33 in number. Women are 22 in number. And this is today's bouncer. Try to solve this question and put the answer in the comment section guys. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.